ahead and get started uh, with our meeting this morning. This is the 2016 Commissioner's Annual Planning Meeting. I appreciate everybody being here. Again, uh, thank you, staff. Uh, as you can see, all the hard work that already has gone into it, and we're just now getting started. This is what we're seeing, how our staff has been working on this for quite some time. And it's very, very appreciative of that and those efforts. Um, at this time, uh, our first agenda item is going to be the audit report. Rogers, and Scott Hewitt, we appreciate that, and uh, right. give the floor to you. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate the opportunity to be here today to present the June 30th, 2015 audit report. Um, we made a uh, report January 27th, so this is hot off the press. Um, and um, so, Bill tells me that I'll start off with me, so everything's got to go up from here. So. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be the hot one. This is the hot one. <laughs> um, what I have done, I presented a, a little letter. It's two pages long, and then I've got three pages of condensed financial information behind it. Uh, this year, I got a little smarter, and I actually uh, put page numbers on it. So, I can actually refer to what page we're at. And it didn't take about seven or eight years. <laughs> so so uh, we're going to start on uh, page one. Uh, page one is your general fund. Um, and that's the page one of the, the attachments. So it's, it's the third page down. Questions on the, the general fund? I know there's a lot of numbers here and um, kind of throw them at you. Let's flip over to the next page, page two. These are our special revenue funds. Um, the total revenue and the special revenues was 9380000 compared to 2014, 
total revenues, $6,377,000 compared to $5,968,000 in 14. Expenses were $5,034,000 uh, compared to $4,578,000 in the previous year. Our change in fund position was one million one sixteen compared to seven hundred seventy six thousand previous year, and our net position at the end of two thousand fifteen is thirty four million and fifty four. Um, obviously, the majority of it comes from the water sewer um, operating revenues for. Five million six sixty one expenses for four million six sixty two, and the change in net position was eight seventy seven. So on the special on the special tax line, we're getting closer and closer to getting that work right here. We'll take uh, our efforts this year, <coughs> so it will be. We believe this year be, it will be demonstrated the following. When we run up against another request for special life, I'll go to the to pay that front before. So, we yeah, that's what we feel the call the things that Jason states when he presents it is the subject to the procedure. Any other questions? Okay. Internal service funds um, total uh, for 15 was 9747 compared to 9965 in uh, 14. The operating expenses were 9993000 compared to 10686 in the previous year. The net income uh, for the uh, internal service funds was 638000 compared to a negative 723000 previous year. Our uh, ending net position was 949 this year. The majority of the, the majority of the activity and the majority of what swings that income back and forth is the health insurance. Um, this year, the health insurance um, decreased, the expenses decreased 1,184 from previous year. Um, you know, I, I don't know that one year makes a trend, but that, that's a very healthy turnaround from the previous year. Is it possible that those employees are no longer with us? That may have been sick. I think the major significance of that relates to our change in um, the provider. Um, we had to pay out, if y'all recall, additional three months, four months of claims um, as a carryover when we changed um, the you know, plan administrator. So that um, that was an inflated number last year that uh, this number is probably closer to the real cost of the year. In addition to that, our preferred provider network is currently now with Cross Blue Shield. They have the strongest network discounts in our area as well as nationwide, so those additional discounts are helping um, as well. Unlike our ideal doctor, it uh, helps out. That's what we call when we talk on the phone and send the prescriptions to the pharmacist. We use that our house this week, too. Ms. Christian, do you, your, your thoughts on the thing here is positive from not many national questions, but, but uh, the wellness program? I think the wellness program uh, has been a success uh, to this stage. We are implementing uh, a change in that this year in going what we believe to be the next level in um, 
focus and attention for the employees. It's uh, called Know Your Number. It's based on every individual uh, in our participant in our program being evaluated and given a score and then uh, professionals working with that individual on how they improve that score. So rather than just address wellness as a whole, we are now beginning to focus on uh, the particular concerns of each person in trying to address improving those and being more results oriented and um, that's why it's know your number and how you get that number to a better uh, healthier status. So I don't think it would have been successful if we had started out with this. It's a matter of growing the knowledge and awareness of the employees we took those baby steps. Uh, we crawled a little bit. Now we're moving forward. Disagree. Every county employee is in this. No, there are there are certain ones who uh, are not. They, we have not. Um, I get the exact number of them. We have 374 participants in our wellness program. Um, but the number that you're looking at there is the, our overall health plan number, and we've probably got 75 employees who are not a part of the health plan. Um, some of them are retired military, so they have the old TRICARE problem, which is no one can get back for yeah. where they've got insurance. Our shared department is Yes, that includes everyone who's on the payroll who <clears throat> has the potential to be eligible for that plan as long as they're a full-time employee. Any other questions? One quick comment, um, I, I've got the numbers for 2013, 14, and 15. And this 2015 was actually about $200,000 less than it was two years ago. So that's pretty pretty encouraging because Scott and I were talking about it all the way down. This is the only municipal that we've seen that had seen that got, got anywhere close to holding the line in the last two years. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Great. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> that's staff. Credit to staff all <laughs> And employees. You know, I'm trying to do better. That's that really was my point with the wellness program as much as anything. It says if you focus on your wellness, then eventually it's going to reflect in your overall uh, really. two, two numbers that Mark gave you that I think are significant, and you will be hearing us refer to these later in Stephanie's presentation. Here again during the budget presentation, and that is the $35,000, uh, $36,000 difference in our expectations on the expenditures and what they actually work. That's close mm -hmm. to be able to project that. And we talked That's about right. it before, but being able to project that number out and come within $35,000. Is, is significant for finance. The other part is, um, as Mark pointed out, we had a deficit where we had to use fund balance last year and the year before that. It's easy to dip into the fund balance, a million, a million and a half, whatever. We, we added back to the fund balance just over a quarter of a million. It's much, 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 much harder to add back to that than it is to dip into that. Uh, so those are two numbers that uh, I believe are extremely significant and extremely important for y'all's consideration uh, as we go into the budget, but throughout the year and all the requests that you get, being able to understand how close we are really on those revenue numbers consistently within that, that a, a, a small margin. And number two, that, um, that difficulty in having a positive flow of uh, revenue to build back that reserve. Because if you look at those numbers, a couple of years ago we were 19 million. Uh, we dropped down to 14 million, and now we're just inching back up to 15. So who well, is it going from 1940? Thanks, sir.
Uh, one final thing. Um, this year we implemented gas fee is 68. Now, how that affects you personally? Probably not much. But for Harrison and myself, that was <laughs> that was a pretty big deal. It added probably 10 pages to your audit report this year, and it added um, 14 million 350,000 to your liabilities on your government-wide basis. Now, I don't really present on a government-wide basis because it's so convoluted that I don't really understand it myself. Um, they say it's supposed to be more like uh, a business, like how you run your own business, but no business I know has deferred inflows, deferred outflows, and assets minus liabilities that need capital. So we try to stay away from that part um, into the, these funds that you really understand um, better. But that did happen this past year, and that's one thing that um, has a pretty, pretty big, big effect on the government life. Um, once again, we appreciate the opportunity to start in here. Thank you very much for um, listening to me. Um, Excited. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <coughs>